guys, James here. Today I'm going to be giving you a review on this Metabo called the Strop Saw. What you'll see in this video is I'm going to be using the saw itself to be cutting up some decking boards for a little seat that I'm going to build. I'm also going to cut up some uh, design pine for a railing that I'm going to install inside as well too. So I'll put the little saw to test, see how it goes. I'm also trying out the new 6.2 LIHD batteries which are supposed to have a pretty long run time. So I'll let you know how that performs as well. Alright, let's get into it. Here's my mark. One of the cool features is when you turn on the light up here, you actually get a laser beam that you can actually line up for your cut. You can see that laser there. Okay, so the little saw's gone pretty well. We've basically cut up all the framing and all the hardwood decking for this little bench seat that we've got here. We did all this yesterday on my battery charge, it's still going. So we've got all the pine framing that we've cut, 70 by 35. Made up a little bit of a frame around there, and we cut in all these decking boards with our 45 degree mighty cuts here. The saw's handling it pretty well so far. One of the other good functions of this saw is being a slide compound miter saw, you actually get quite a long cut. So you can see how far the blade extends out. So that's gonna be good for doing nice wide boards if you've got a skirting or a decorative architrave or cornice mold or something like that going to come in quite handy. One thing I've noticed is with the handle, you've got the flat handle. I'm used to actually a, a vertical handle, so it's taking a little bit to get used to, but all in all, it's not too bad. You've got the two buttons on either side, so if you're left-handed or right-handed, I think that's quite convenient. Other than that, you've got all your standard functions for you know, your 45 degree cuts, both sides. Uh, you're only limited to one 45 degree cut on the vertical. It doesn't go 45 over the other way, so it just means you've got to spin your timber around. Being a light little saw, I think that's still quite handy, even if you have to flip your timber to the other side of the saw bench just to make that 45 degree cut. Not the end of the world. Okay, so I've just made about 100 cuts into this uh, design pine for my frame. It's still going pretty strong. So I've used the saw pretty much all day yesterday for the decking and for the framing. And now I've used it pretty much all day today for chopping up this. So, so far so good. Good little saw, it's performing well. The other thing I love about this is when you're done at the end of the day, it's so light to pack away. All you do, lock everything over. I like to spin it on a 45. That in, and then away you go. Easy, one hand operation, straight in the back of the truck. Okay, so I'm up to day four of use on this uh, little machine, and combined with the uh, LIHD battery, I just can't seem to kill the thing. So um, hopefully by the end of today, it's getting pretty low in battery. Uh, we'll see, it might actually stop. But um, I'm gonna finish the framing on this little project I'm on now. If I can't seem to get uh, the battery to die, I'm actually going to do a framing test. I'll probably get a heap of this timber and chop it up, see how many cuts I can actually get out of it, and then at least that way you can sort of calculate, say, how many linear metres of framing you could get out of uh, one battery use, or something like that. But anyway, I'll keep going. Okay, so I've been using this thing for about the last four days and I was trying to see how long uh, this new LIHD battery would last but I haven't been able to kill the thing. It's getting pretty low so I've put it on the charger now and what I'll do is fully charge this and then I'm going to do a run test just by cutting up some 90 by 35 framing and see how many we can get out of it. Alright, let's put it to the test. Okay, you can see here now that it's fully charged, the light's solid green, so this thing's ready to go. Okay guys, so here we go. Time for the test. We've got one fully charged battery. I've got the saw. So we'll pop that in. Fully charged. 
Got my uh, notepad here. I'm going to write down how many cuts we take. A little GoPro setup. I've got all my framing timber. So, let's make a start. Okay, so so far the battery's done 200 cuts. It's starting to get down a little bit, which is depleted, which is good to see. So I'll keep going and we'll see how many we can get out of it. Now this is constant use. You wouldn't actually have the saw going drop, drop, drop. For any sort of continued period of time, you'd generally be sort of cutting a stud here and there. So he's giving the battery a good workout, which is good to see. All right, I'll keep going. Right, that's it. <clears throat> I've got to 207 cuts. We're down to the last bar on the battery. It's cut out. Now I don't know if that's it, it's finished or if the battery is just taking a break because it is quite hot, which I've given it a lot of uh, continued use. You wouldn't normally just sort of power through cuts like that. So the battery's warmed up a little bit, but we'll give a bit of time to rest and see if it does come back if it's just overheated or if that's the uh, total number of cuts. But so far, we've got 207 cuts out of this 90 by 35 timber. Now I'll just confirm those cuts again. I've done them in tens. So total is 247 out of the uh, LIHD battery. Okay, now that test done. I'm gonna compare the 6.2 amp hour battery to the uh, standard 5.2 amp hour battery. We'll see how many framing cuts we get out of those. And then we can compare the two, the difference between the 5.2 and the 6.2. Okay, I've got about 18 cuts into this and the saw's stopped. Now, the battery's not hot. I'm just wondering if there's a cutout mechanism inside the motor. In conjunction with doing the, uh, the 247 cuts here, and then close to another 20 cuts with this, it's quite a lot of work on the machine. But yeah, it has cut out, so I might just leave it for a period of time, let it cool down. Okay, so there's the results of the test. 247 in the 6.2 amp hour LOHD and 131 in the 5.2 amp hour battery. So you can see the difference between the two. Not quite double, but pretty pretty close. Okay, so there you have it. We've tested the 6.2 amp hour LIHD battery, and that's got 247 cuts out of the 90 by 35 pine framing timber. And then for the 5.2 amp hour, compared to that, gave us 131 cuts out of the same 90 by 35 framing. So on top of the saw, you've got a button which switches on a work light, and you've also got the button which switches the laser on and off. On the side here, you've got your depth adjustment. So you can wind that up or down. You've got the millimeters on the side there. And then all you do is you slide out this little clip at the bottom, and then that's what gives the saw the stop for the depth adjustment. On the base of each saw, you've got these little lugs here which you can unscrew and then you can slide out your adjustments give you a bit more workspace on the sides you've also got these dual buttons here left-handed and right-handed which took me a little bit to get used to but it's actually quite cool measuring that gonna get at least the 300 millimeter deep cut which is great okay so there you have it guys there's a few features of the saw. So in wrapping up the review, I'll give you some of the positives and negatives about the saw. Starting with the negatives, they're not big ones, but basically uh, one little gripe is this uh, dust bag. Within the first couple of days, that uh, the plastic inside the handle there snapped, so that's just basically hanging loose. So when it's hanging loose, it's not really allowing a lot of the dust to go in, it's just flying around the saw. Probably would be better if they did that in like an aluminium or steel or something like that, so if it did get a knock, it would bend rather than break. Only a little thing. The other one is the uh, 45 on the back of the saw. It only goes 45 one way. And I'm used to being able to flip the saw 45 another way, just with one of the other brands that I use. So if you could do that, that'd be handy. Look, it's not, again, not the end of the world. It just means you sort of flip your timber around and just, you know, jostle from side to side, just with that back 45. 
But that's the only two negatives. Other than that, the saw's been great. It's, um, what I really love about it is the weight. It's so lightweight, you just slide it up, clip everything together so it's all locked into position. Pick it up with one hand and away you go. The other thing is the power. It's a very powerful little machine. With the, uh, combined with the 6.2 amp hour battery that I've been using, just impressed at what it's been able to get through. I completely drained the 6.2 amp hour battery, which you'll see probably in the battery test. I'll do in another video just to compare it to the 5.2 amp hour. We managed to get about 247 cuts out of this pine framing, which is quite a lot for this saw, a saw of this size. So that was very impressive. I'd go as far probably to say that if you were doing a house fit out, putting your skirtings and architraves around an average size, say two story house, you'd probably get a whole house out of just one battery quite easily because skirtings and architraves are a lot thinner than this framing that I've been using. So very positive. Um, other than those, you know, the bag <laughs> and not turning 45, I love the little saw, so it's been very good. Put it to use, put it on a couple of jobs, and then you gave it the framing test. So it gets a big thumbs up. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give it the thumbs up, like or subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Cheers guys.